Aloha, welcome back to this YouTube channel. For today's session, we are going to tackle about the homeroom guidance of grade 6 for quarter 1, module 1, entitled Embracing the Best in Me. Introductory Message For the learner, in this module, you will be guided in identifying your likes, dislikes, talents, and interests, as well as your basic rights as a child. As you go through the different activities, you will realize that as you grow older, you will learn simple tasks at home and in school, which will make you a more responsible and obedient child. This module has six interactive activities for you to follow. Namely, let's try this. Which will help you get ready to learn, let's explore this. Which will guide you towards what you need to learn, keep in mind which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand. You can do it which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities, what I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning. Share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions, and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you are asked to do. Have fun. Stay safe and healthy. Learning Objectives At the end of this module, you are expected to number 1. Enumerate your personal interests, abilities, skills, values, strengths, and weaknesses as part of your development. 2. Explain the importance of self-awareness in achieving self-understanding and acceptance. 3. Examine appropriate and inappropriate behaviors observed in different situations. And 4. Appreciate changes by showing appropriate behavior in different situations. For period, week 1 and week 2 of first quarter. For the introduction of this module. This module will engage you in a meaningful learning experience as you journey to better understand yourself. You will discover changes as part of your development and realize your strengths and weaknesses, your interests, talents, abilities, skills, and values. This will guide you as you discover and embrace the best in you. For your Let's Try This activity, you are going to do the This Is Me. Copy the drawing on a sheet of paper. Write your strengths in box 1, weaknesses in box 2, and your skills, interest, talents, abilities, and values in box 3. Examples are written in each box as your guide. Here is the sample for the first box, which is the strengths. And here is the example, I can express my thoughts clearly in writing. Second box is the weakness. Example, I don't feel confident speaking in front of many people. And on the third box is your skills, interest, talents, abilities, and values. Example, I love to draw and play musical instrument. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now proceed on answering this four processing questions on a sheet of paper, answer the following questions. 1. What are your thoughts and feelings while doing the activity? 2. What are your strengths and weaknesses that you discovered recently? 3. How did your skills, interests, talents, abilities, and values help you in discovering your strengths and weaknesses? Four. How does this pandemic affect your thoughts and feelings about yourself? For your Let's Explore This activity. In the previous activity, you learned that your skills, interests, talents, abilities, and values change as you grow. These may have influenced how you think, form your personal beliefs, and affect how you feel about certain situations. In this activity, you will have a deeper understanding about yourself by examining your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. This will help you in understanding appropriate and inappropriate behaviors in a given situation. Pathways to Self-Discovery On a sheet of paper, copy the table below and fill in your responses. Remember that there is no right or wrong answer in this activity. Responses indicated in number 1 will serve as your guide. Here is the table. 
that will serve as your guide in doing your activity. Situation 1. Are the given example for you? Submission of homework beyond deadline. Thoughts, what do you think about the situation? Feelings, how do you feel about the situation? I feel nervous because my teacher might not accept my homework. Beliefs, what are your personal beliefs about the situation? Submission of homework beyond deadline is better than none submission. Behavior, is the behavior in this situation appropriate or inappropriate? Inappropriate. And you are now going to answer the following numbers. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now proceed on answering these two processing questions on a sheet of paper. Answer the questions below. Number 1. How can your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs help you in determining if the behavior in a certain situation is appropriate or inappropriate? Explain. And 2. What have you discovered about yourself after doing this activity? Now you must keep this in mind. Like other children your age, you may have many questions about the changes that happen you. This is normal because you are now in the adolescent stage and this may be challenging and confusing. During this stage of development, you will experience physical, emotional, and psychological changes. These may have effects on your personal interests, abilities, skills, and values as well. As you continue in developing your best version, remember B, E, S, T, 1. B, be true to yourself and be responsible for your actions. Can you still recall your answers in the activity This is me? Who is the person being referred to with these activities? Yes, it's you. You possess these strengths, skills, talents, and values that led you to where you are right now and you should be proud of yourself. You need to be aware that you are capable of doing great things. During this process of development, however, there are challenges that may affect you. This is normal and being aware of your personal weakness is being true to yourself. You cannot pretend to be somebody else, because if you will do that, you will surely burden yourself and this may cause you problems. Your weaknesses may stem from a bad decision or a negative experience. Just take it easy. Learn from the experience and do not repeat the same mistakes. Accept it for that is who you are, and next time, remember to choose the right decision. You need to consider these, this I ask you, I can plan for my future even if I am still young. I can accomplish the task entrusted to me such as doing my assignments, doing my chores or being helpful to others. I know how to follow house and school rules. I do not say bad words, I am respectful and I don't hurt my siblings or others. I am aware of my weaknesses and I can change to be the best. 2. E. Exemplify positive behavior and establish healthy relationships. Are you aware now of who you are and the many good things that you can do? Good. Keep on doing it and nurture it. It is a must that you strive to be the best version that you can be by showing positive actions and behaviors. Before, you used to have tantrums or easily get hurt, but you cannot be like that now for you already have the capacity to understand. Before, you take a lot of things for granted but now everything has its meaning and importance. Before, friendship is only about playtime but now you have to be a true friend by being aware and helpful to others' needs. Before, you take for granted your parents, siblings, teachers, classmates or even your friends but now they are important to you. Build healthy relationships with them with care and respect. 3. S. Share your talents and skills and set your personal goals in life. You might say that you are still young and should not be bothered about life or goals. You know what? As young as you are, you can already set what you would like in the years to come. You need to set your personal goals even if it is on a short-term basis. You can do it even by simply asking yourself. Should I go back to sleep or finish my school project? Must I follow what my mother told me about taking care of my siblings or to keep on playing video or online games? These are just a few and simple examples, but this is a start. Aim to be better than who you are before. Talents and skills are not meant to be hidden. 
it must be shared. You have your talents or your skills, share it with everybody. For example, contribute if your group has a task. If you have the resources for your class project, volunteer to be of great help. If you have an idea on how to do things, share it with others. If you are good at something, like drawing, doing math, etc., help others to be good, too. And 4. T. Talk to your parents or other significant adults in your life. Sharing your thoughts, feelings, and experiences to your parents or other significant adults in your life will help you in making decisions in life. By now, you should already realize how important family is. Spend quality time and communicate with them. They will protect you. Your parents will be there for you. You can talk to them about your personal experiences. A lot of issues and concerns may be resolved with their help. They know you far better than anybody else. For your You Can Do It activity. The new me copy the table on a sheet of paper. Complete the sentences. To test what you have learned in this module, you are now going to answer the what I have learned activity. On a sheet of paper, copy the this is me. Table. Read the situations on the first column and answer the questions in the second and third columns. Situations. Number 1. You are about to go to school when your mother asked you to stay at home and take care of your baby brother or sister. 2. Your classmate invited you to attend her or his birthday party after class, but it is far away from your home. 3. Just like your friends, you stayed at home for several months due to quarantine. You learned from them that they use Gadget 24-7 to ease their boredom. 4. Many of your classmates told you that you are better than they are because you belong to a well-off family, you have gadgets, nice dresses, and packed foods. And 5. You enjoy chatting with your friends this pandemic time, that is why you sleep late at night. And lastly, you are now going to share your thoughts and feekings. 1. Read the situation below. 2. Reflect and answer the guide questions after reading the situation. 3. Write your answer on a clean sheet of paper. Situation, you are assigned to take charge of your younger siblings for a week because your parents are required to stay in their respective workplaces due to health protocols. They gave you instructions regarding food, safety, and money in cases of emergency for the whole week. A. How do you feel about the task? B. What is your plan of action to accomplish the task? C. How will this experience help you in your development? Now that you have gained knowledge about yourself, both identifying your strengths and overcoming your weaknesses, you open yourself to new possibilities for personal growth. This will also help you establish good relationship with others and respect for individual differences. You are now ready for the next module. Valuing others begins by gaining understanding of oneself. Continue your journey 